Hi there, as usual it's me, just a voiceover, you're a watching review machines and this story begins on the autumn day, when we were riding in a park and thinking over what other interesting machines we could show you. And it seems I have an idea. Let's buy something unusual. In fact, the only place where we can find the most unusual devices and other stuff is AliExpress. Sometimes there are really peculiar variants. Like this one, for example. Just look at it. It's a guess from a cyberpunk future, a really unique technologies, breathtaking innovative design. That were our thoughts at that moment, when we were looking at this one wheel bike. We should have paid attention that there was no any feedback. But in fact our minds were strongly captured by that old thing. And after all we decided to buy it. So here it is. Meet a single wheel gyrocycle bike. Well, the delivery took us several months. And finally we've got it! The cyberpunk future is already here. Today we are going to test this strange thing. We still don't know what it's capable of. So let's find out that together. And what are our very first impressions? Well, it looks really dope and attractive. When it's switched off, it makes an impression of innovative futuristic device. But if we look closer at it, we can see that it's just a monowheel with an attached seat and the handlebar. So as a matter of fact it's clear, there are no any innovations in the construction of this device. The handlebar is just a fixed handle without any steering functions, so we will figure out later how to make maneuvers. There is only one button on the handlebar. And according to the manual, it's a brake. By the way, the handlebar is foldable, to make it easier to transport the device in a trunk. The seat is surprisingly comfortable and looks decent. It's very strange to see here an ignition key, but here it is. Besides, there are two buttons, the power, and I have no any idea about this one. Nothing happens when I push it. There are front and rear lights, the footsteps, the platform for a smartphone and the battery indicator. But what I don't like, it's a cheap plastic of a body. And it seems quite flimsy, cause we've got the device with the serious damage. And I still don't know why we need these ridiculous little wheels. I tried to dismantle them, but they are not dismantable actually. For all that, I strain at the leash to switch on the thing and try it. Let's press a button and have a ride. Well, the first try seems to be not very successful. It will probably take some more time to get the hang of it. But it didn't come as a full surprise, cause we usually don't test everyday innovative devices. That is why we invited a pro rider Vitalik to take part in our test. Vitalik is a legendary rider, who can professionally ride on any vehicle from an electric scooter to some old machines. Our rider is good at everything. If you have been watching us for some time, you should know him. Vitalik is ready to tackle any problem, to get the hang of any vehicle, to down to any machine, no matter how fanciful it is. But this time we have a special event. As you may have already known, we are testing the futuristic device. That is why we should equip our rider properly. Me. 
now actually you are watching the very first attempts to get the feel of this device, not counting my try. And it seems it's not a very hard task to learn how to ride on it. We are just sitting on it. And when we lean forward, just moving forward, lean backward, moving backward, it's a piece of cake. But it's much harder to maneuver. We should lean to the proper side to turn, and it's not so easy. Anyway, I think we are ready to make the main test. But before that, the most interesting. Now let's check the key feature of this device. According to the specs, it should be equipped with a powerful Bluetooth speaker. To make the rides more exciting and to make us more notable on roads, just for safety. And my phone really sees the Bluetooth connection. Let's try to join it. Well, let's turn up the volume and have some fun. Frankly speaking, it's not what I expected. The quality of the sound is awful. And it's too quiet to make us notable on road in some way. Nevertheless, let's try to ride it. Well, as to the riding, again, I expected much more fun. But at least it works. Leaning forward and it speeds up. Leaning backward and it slows down. The maneuvering is harder, but I think it's a matter of practice. But definitely this thing is not able to provide some fun and extreme riding. It's rather boring. Boring, but as it turned out, quite unstable. Let's check the maximum speed now. As we can see, the maximum we reached is only 23 km per hour. When you lean forward more, the little small wheels graze against the ground and prevent you from speeding up. As to the brake, we can slow down by leaning backward, but it's not a fast stop. So there is a button on the handlebar. When we push it, the device leans backward automatically and stops much faster. Well, as I said, our first impressions are not very exciting. Let's try to disassemble it slightly to see what's inside. Under the cover, the first thing we see here is a speaker. No wonder the sound was awful, just look at it. The secret button even isn't targeting, so I have no idea why we have it here. As you can see, the build quality is far from being perfect. The welding seams and wiring are the same. By the way, this device put us back $1800. I expected more for that money. Let's look at the motor. Surprisingly, the motor and the wheel itself look more decent. It seems it was taken from other device. We see that it's 60 volts motor, but no any info about power. The capacity of the battery is only 6.5 Ah. It's so little capacity for such a device, I should say. Well, our dreams about futuristic device are disappearing now. We expected to get a powerful sound. And we've got such a ridiculous speaker. We expected a waterproofing according to the official specs, but we've got just this cap on a socket and such a spacer on a wire. Finally, we were tracked by seductive promos. And we've got a pile of cheap plastic. Seriously damaged to top it all. Well, you probably have heard enough of my complaints. Finally, it works. Let's try to improve this thing in some way. As I said, we noticed the front view prevents us from moving faster. So let's do it in this way. 
we've just banned them. What a genius engineering solution, isn't it? And now, as you can see, it's even powerful enough to climb on this hill. Probably now we will get some fun finally. And as a matter of fact, we are riding now much faster. Unfortunately, the battery had other plans. And after several minutes, the device switched off. The battery is ridiculously small here, as we can remember. And now let's sum it up. Probably it's the strangest device in our practice. It's rather costly, the price is about $1800. But the capabilities of the device leave much to be desired, not to mention build quality and cheap materials. Frankly speaking, I have no idea who might need such a device. Maybe you know, guys. Please post your comments what you think of this stuff. That's all today. Please consider subscribing the channel if you like this video. Stay with us. There will be many more interesting materials here. Goodbye.